The brain is a complex organ at the center of our nervous system. Multiple regions of the brain are involved in the regulation of emotions, including reward and pleasure. One such region that regulates the reward pathway is the ventral tegmental area, or VTA. The VTA can be stimulated by activities including eating, exercise and sex. Stimulation of the VTA can induce the release of dopamine into the nucleus accumbens. Dopamine promotes the feeling of pleasure and euphoria. One of the major neurotransmitter systems involved in modulating the dopamine reward pathway is the endogenous opioid system. The ventral tegmental area, or VTA, is an important part of this pathway. Within the VTA, mu opioid receptors found on the surface of neurons are stimulated by endogenous opioids. One example of an endogenous opioid is beta endorphin, a member of the endorphin family. Stimulation of these mu opioid receptors by endorphins induces a signal which travels along the axon, ultimately resulting in the activation of dopaminergic neurons. Here, at the dopaminergic neuron, the signal stimulates the fusion of dopamine-containing vesicles with the presynaptic membrane. The vesicle fusion releases dopamine into the synapse. Once released, the dopamine molecules traverse the synaptic cleft. When they reach the postsynaptic neuron, they bind to and activate dopamine receptors found there. In doing so, they activate a series of neurological processes that create feelings of pleasure and euphoria. Like endogenous endorphins, opioid drugs such as heroin and opioid analgesics bind to the mu opioid receptors in the ventral tegmental area. This binding stimulates the dopamine reward system in the same manner as endogenous opioids. Through this mechanism, opioid use produces reward, pleasure and further drug wanting. Repeated exposure to escalating doses of a full opioid agonist produces tolerance that is, higher and higher doses of the full agonist are required to achieve the same effect, or constant doses produce less and less of an effect. As tolerance develops, higher quantities of opioids are required to stimulate the release of dopamine in an attempt to achieve the pleasure experienced during initial opioid use. Tolerance and physical dependence makes the addicted user susceptible to withdrawal symptoms. At this point, the drug user no longer experiences euphoria with drug use, only the relief that comes from warding off the inevitable withdrawal. Partial opioid agonists are substances that also bind to mu opioid receptors. Partial agonists differ from full agonists in that they both activate and block the mu receptor. Partial agonists stimulate the mu opioid receptor and produce a less powerful effect than a full agonist. Because partial agonists still activate mu opioid receptors and promote the release of dopamine, they can lead to dependence and subsequent withdrawal if discontinued. Physiological dependence on any opioid results in the need to continue full or partial opioid agonists to avoid withdrawal symptoms. Because continued opioid use changes the brain's natural endorphin balance and responsivity, the normal endorphin system is injured, producing many of the symptoms of dependence. Many of these brain changes occur in the limbic system. Next, we will turn our attention to the phenomenon of opioid withdrawal, which is a direct consequence of those changes. The locus ceruleus is a region of the brain involved in arousal and alarm. Many neurons in the locus ceruleus region of the brain produce the neurotransmitter norepinephrine. Norepinephrine regulates a variety of central nervous system functions including the regulation of respiration, blood pressure, and general alertness. Imbalances in this neurotransmitter system are partially responsible for the symptoms of withdrawal. 
Opioid use stimulates mu opioid receptors, which in turn inhibit the release of norepinephrine in the locus ceruleus. To offset this inhibition, neurons within the locus ceruleus increase their activity, releasing additional norepinephrine. During withdrawal, when no opioids are present, locus ceruleus neurons release excessive amounts of norepinephrine due to their elevated activity and the loss of inhibition by mu opioid receptors. An excessive amount of norepinephrine in specific brain locations produces the symptoms of withdrawal, including anxiety, fever, diarrhea, nausea, vomiting and insomnia.